Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth and final video on installing MRBS, the meeting room booking system, onto your own self-hosted Debian-based server. If you haven't seen the previous three videos in this series, um, I highly suggest that you look at those uh, so that you will be up to speed and will be able to actually make the configuration stick and uh, work the way they're supposed to. So we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video. Uh, we had just populated our database uh, with all of the proper table information that we needed. Um, and then we looked at the site itself and we found that MRBS configuration error time zone has not been set. So this is a pretty important uh, piece of the process. And so to do these configurations, uh, we'll need to go into the directory where the system is currently residing. So uh, in, that, in our case, it's CD var uh, www html web. And um, what I'll do is just do that so we have a little more room. Okay, and we can look at the documentation. And let's see, we'll scroll down to um, configuring MRBS. So uh, what they're telling us here is as a minimum we will need to set the time zone and the database variables um, and we're going to do that right now. So uh, we do this in the config.inc.php file. This is the one that we had copied earlier. Um, we can go ahead and list and you'll see that the uh, config.inc.php file is there. We can edit it with nano, so we'll do sudo, and you do need to use sudo here, uh, nano config, and go ahead and hit enter. And so what we need to do is go through this file and uncomment some things and change some things around. So uh, under this time zone heading, we'll get to the end of that, and you'll see that we have time zone equals Europe slash London. We need to uncomment that, and we do that by deleting these two forward slashes. Um, you need to get the right variable, uh, so you can do that by going to the HTTP PHP.net manual time zones. Um, you can figure out what needs to be put here by going there. I already know what I need to put in here, so uh, I'm going to do that. And so we're in the United States, and I'm going to do America slash I am on the west coast so I need to put in uh, Los Angeles Angeles okay that should be good and the next thing we need to do is look at our database settings uh, so here depending on what system you're using so uh, you got post uh, gre GraySQL and MySQL. Um, as I've mentioned before, Debian, or uh, not Debian, uh, MariaDB is a derivative of MySQL. Um, so using MySQL is, is good here. And um, let's see, localhost. So as long as uh, your database is, lives on the same server as um, your application, that should be fine. Uh, database name so we did um, follow the advice of the instructions and we named it MRBS we don't need to change that um, I did not follow the advice and name the user MRBS I named it MRBS user so I'm going to edit that and then the MRBS user password uh, I just set to password and again um, make sure that if this is a production environment you're using something better than password. Um, and that's all we need to do uh, for these configurations. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is just exit uh, by control X and then Y and then enter. And then I do believe we may need to restart the Apache server. So let's just do that um, just to be sure we're in good shape. So sudo system control restart Apache 2 and enter 
And now, when we come here, when I refresh things, fingers crossed, um, the system will be up and running. And so it is. Um, let's take a, a larger look at that. Um, and so this is this is the the very first page. And what we need to do at this point is uh, set up our our admin user. So I'm just going to do. Um, admin uh, just because this is this is just a tutorial um, and I'm just gonna admin admin save and then we would just log in admin and then the password and everything seems to be in good order and that's pretty much it. That's um, that is that is how we get things installed. Um, there are all sorts of configurations you can do, and I think uh, this is a fairly short video. So, well, let's take a look at a couple of those uh, a couple of those things. I'm just going to minimize this again, and let's look at the documentation again. And so we've done the customizations that. Um, were recommended here so we did time zone we did database settings and of course there's a lot more um, explanation here so uh, definitely look look this over um, other settings is what we'll look at now so what they're saying is you can go through the system defaults and area defaults um, let's just look at the system defaults um, you know one thing one thing for example that you can do there is get um, get directives that will allow you to customize things so for example I'm gonna hop over here real quick I don't want this to be your company I want this to be the name of my organization so so we can do that um, and we can figure out what the directive is by looking at the system defaults which is very similar to uh, the file that we just edited uh, the config.inc.php um, so this is like the default or this is um, this overrides any defaults here so this this is a, a a nice document a nice file to have uh, but in order to figure out what we need to put into that um, we would look at the system defaults so we can do that by running sudo uh, nano uh, system defaults inc.php and I just hit tab to auto complete enter and so you see this looks very similar to uh, the file that we just edited and um, it's best not to make changes here uh, simply because if you upgrade or when you upgrade in the future um, this file is going to be replaced so um, so that's why they they recommend uh, you just take the directives and put them into your config file. Um, so what I'm looking for is um, the your company line, and that directive is set with this right here. So what I'm going to do is copy all of this. The MRBS company equals. Go ahead and copy that. I'm going to exit. I'm going to go back into the config.inc.php file, enter. I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the page. Whoops, sorry, that is the wrong file. Leave there, sudo nano system default. Okay. And I just used my up keys to get to the command that I typed in for uh, sudo nano config.inc.php. So at the bottom of this file, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom, um, and they, they tell us to add lines from system defaults and area defaults here. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to paste that line here. I don't want it called your company anymore. I'm just going to call this um, EOU library for Eastern Oregon University Library. And we'll exit Y to save and enter and now when I go to this page and if I refresh you'll see it's now EOU library uh, one more thing that you should be aware of when you're configuring things and the system does seem to be pretty good about what it allows you to customize um, 
there are various places to go. So we saw the system defaults. They say the area defaults is another one to look at uh, to get directives to put into your config. Uh, .inc.php. Uh, but the other one that we need to be aware of is, and I think they mentioned this, let's see, system defaults, uh, change text strings. So um, in the lang files, uh, you can do that. So uh, for example, I don't want this called meeting room booking system because here at our library, Maybe we want to have study rooms, not necessarily meeting rooms. So, uh, so I want to change that, and I can do that um, in one of these lang files. So to do that, in the web directory, I'm just going to do ls to list everything here, and you'll see that there's this lang directory here, and I'm going to change into that directory, uh, lang ls. So uh, I typed ls to, to list all of the documents that are in here, all the files that are in here. Um, I'm an English speaker, so uh, I have set the system up to be English. And what I'm going to do is uh, go into this file, sudo lang.en for English. And whoops, it's nano. We need to nano and enter and you'll see that that string is set here under the vocab mrbs and this file we can change directly actually we shouldn't change this this file directly um, we should put it into uh, the config file that we were just looking at and so uh, they're giving us instructions on how to do that and so you know, remember, we I wanted to change uh, meeting room booking system to study room booking system. So I can do that, but I need to come into this file to get the proper code, which is um, MRBS. So what I'm going to do is um, I have I have that tag. I'm going to exit out of this, uh, exit out, and I will go back one directory and then sudo nano config. So back into this file here, let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. And um, so we get the, uh, well actually we could just we could just copy all of this to save ourselves some time. Copy it, let's uh, paste it there. And so I'm gonna go back to the beginning. So what we need to do is uh, use this vocab override directive. We're using the lang.en file, so that's what we're telling it here. And then the example they gave was the controller click, uh, but that's not what we want. The tag that we want is mrbs, and um, we will just delete all of all of the contents here. And then I wanted to change it to what was it? Study room booking system. Okay, good. So now I can do Control X. I can Y, yes to save and enter. And now when I come here and refresh, we have study room booking system. So the important thing to remember here is if you want to customize things and you want to change things around, um, you need to find the directives in either one of the lang files or in um, system defaults or in area defaults. Uh, where did you go? Area defaults, right there. And I haven't actually looked at that, so I'm not sure what's in there. Um, we can take a quick look. sudo nano area defaults. So it looks like we have like calendar settings, time settings, um, booking policies. So um, pretty granular details in here. Uh, quite a bit of stuff that, that that you can do. So again, just remember uh, one of those one from the lang file, the system defaults and the area defaults. Uh, 
get the directive there and then put it into your config file. Uh, so that way when you update in the future, you don't uh, lose anything that, that you've edited. So all of your customizations stay around. Um, and that covers it. That's uh, At this point, you should have a, a system that is fully operational, and you'd be able to, uh, you know, for instance, go into rooms and add areas and test area. Uh, you, can, you can add a new room to that test area, new room. Um, I don't know if you have to fill in all of that stuff. Let's see if I add a room. It, it still lets us. Um, so yeah, and then uh, you just whatever area you want to go to, uh, you just use this drop down, and then you can you can make your edits, and that pretty much covers it. Um, hopefully, you found this helpful. Um, if you like the video, please please hit like. Um, if you're interested in following along with these sorts of tutorials, please think about um, subscribing to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.